what we're going to do now is, is in some ways the most famous thing that Dr. Deming did. Uh, and that is the red bead experiment. In order to do it correctly, we're going to need several willing workers. We've already got Justin, who's agreed to be our computer person. He's going to run averages. The way this experiment works is this is our factory. This factory produces materials for uh, people, for our customers. Our customers want only white beads. This is our machine. This plus a person. This machine goes in. You bring it out at 45 degree angle. And your job is to produce only white beads. Every red bead is a defect. Okay? Now, we're going to run this factory on a traditional tailor-oriented, top-down, boss-tells-employee-what-to-do model, but with all the modern gimmicks. So we're going to have motivational process inside the pyramid. Okay? What we need now is we need five volunteers. We need one volunteer who will be our recorder. Their job is to track whether or not the workers are doing their job or whether they should be fired and replaced with other workers. Then we need four workers who are willing to come up and perform to the top standards necessary to stay in business in a competitive world market. Okay? So, who would like to be the willing workers? And one, two, three, four. You four come up. Now, who would like to be the recorder? You're now the recorder. You come over here. Okay, the recorder's job is to use this. Can you write clearly? <laughs> okay. Now, your job is to be over there and to mark that. You four come over and stand right behind me here. For, for television purposes, we want to keep that clear. Hey, and Dr. Barbara Lawton, who, as I said, is my coach, is going to pretend she's a student because she's going to do a part we couldn't figure out how to teach anybody in a short time. Come on over. She's going to record and tell us what our prediction should be, okay? And if I get it too far wrong, she will promptly break in and tell me. Now, your job, because you're all willing workers, right? You applied for the job. You want the job. You understand that your career and your future is a function of doing this. Your pays a lot. <laughs> okay, it pays more than you were earning sitting in this class a minute ago. Okay, okay, okay. and it's the only job in town, so it's a big deal. Okay, now, your job is to reach in here and to pull out the scoop, filling up every one of the things and having only white beads. What we're going to do is allow each of you to do it once. And she will record, OK? So you're one, two, three, and four. OK, tell, what, what's your first name? Winston. Winston is going to be number one. No, no, put it over there on the line with him. Right no. here? That's right. Yes. Winston. Good, Winston. Yeah. And your name is? Bob. OK, now I own. Bob. Stephanie. So we've now identified them, so this will be a test of their competence. <laughs> And on national television, they will now, we will now learn whether or not they are not just willing workers, but they're our model of good, quality-oriented workers, right? Absolutely. OK, Winston, go for it. This is your job. OK. All right, whoa. Well, first of all, got an empty slot. Too. First of all, Winston has an empty slot. So we know that he's not very competent. Second, he has one, two, three, four, five. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15 red beads. This is not good, OK? Hey. Now, <laughs> I'm in food service. What can I say? Bob will now hopefully do a decent job. Oh. <laughs> Bob just cheated. I'm Bob just that. cheated. <laughs> Bob has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 red beads. But we also have to mark, mark after, just put a little C after the nine so we can remember they cheated. <laughs> OK. Stephanie will now hopefully, this is a chance now for Stephanie to prove, OK. Uh -huh. Three, six, she got nine too. Now she and Bob are clearly superior to Winston. <laughs> All right, now Mai has, she has the largest number of vacancies, two vacant, then she has two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Do we count the vacancies as red beads? Why not? Yeah. Okay, so I they count to fourteen. Now. She has fourteen. If you don't get one, that counts the same as getting a red bead, mm. which actually means Winston's at sixteen. Yeah. Mm. Plus, he should be penalized for cheating. I didn't cheat. No, he didn't cheat. Bob cheated. Oh, okay. He was sincere but incompetent. But character. <laughs> Thanks. Character doesn't count. Yeah. All right, now. This means, by the way, what's the total? 
uh, work computer. Justin, what's the total of those five? Four. 48. You got to do the computer faster. What's the average then, since there are four of them? Anybody want to do that without a computer? 12, right. The virtue. So it's total 48, 12 average. Okay, now. I get fired in my job. <laughs> okay, Dr. Lawton, do you want to tell us anything about where we're at now for predictive purposes? Let's keep going up. Okay. All right, now we're going to go to day two, but let's recognize here, first of all, that we had nobody who was actually very good. I feel a little better. We had two people who at least seemed to be trying, Bob who cheated, and <laughs> Stephanie. So I would say Stephanie's clearly the best worker because she tied Bob, but she didn't cheat. Okay. Winston is close to pathetic. <laughs> but we don't want to make him feel too bad. But, there's no way but to, what? There's no way for them to do it right. You're not allowed to talk. You're supposed to. <laughs> you're, say, each person in a, in a, in a, in a pyramid each person has their job. Your job is not to be part of this except to write. Now, the problem we got, in a good modern management hierarchy with a pyramid, having brought in our consultant, we would say, let's put Winston on probation. Yeah. Recognize that Stephanie seems to be doing pretty good. But we also recognize we're in the world market, competition is tough, we need to do better. Now, we're going to start by creating zero defect day. We're going to say, we should do better. We want everybody to do better. We want to raise morale. Do I put these up now? OK. You can help do this. OK. okay. Put one of these up. Quality is our name That's right. Where do you want it? on the wall. Am I? you can help. Zero defects now. <laughs> and in addition, in order to build morale and let people understand that we are committed to quality, right? We're going to give each of them. <laughs> Here you are. Well, thank you. They're very on. I put yours on you because I wasn't sure you could find it. OK? <laughs> you are, after all, on probation at this stage. And here, you may have one, too, for helping. OK, now, we have this is the big motivational moment. We've had quality rally. We've had quality day. We have our quality signs. And everyone is committed. I'm a quality worker, right? Yes. All right. Absolutely. Winston, since you are a quality worker and on probation, <laughs> go for it. Winston said he wanted to break. Yeah. Can I put the beads on there? No. No. Scoop. Scoop. Okay. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. Winston has tied his all-time record for incompetence. Now you have to at this point wonder if this guy's just not gonna get it, right? Alright, but Bob. Oh, Bob, now that we're monitoring so he doesn't cheat, two, four, six, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 22. <laughs> Setting a, making Winston look good. Now, Stephanie's a 10. Continuing, although she's decaying, she's nonetheless not doing as badly as Bob. Okay. Learning from my mistakes. All right, mine. Go for it. This is your moment. I don't really feel so bad anymore. Nineteen. 